Hey YouTube, Laser Shooting Robots return with a new Figuatsu Kinikuman review. Yes, it's Kinikuman Soldier. Number seven. Yeah, because uh, we do have X number eight here, but there's more still coming out because these guys never end. Yeah, no. Just like the old muscle figures, they never end. They never You're end. You always find, I think like over 100 of those, if I remember correctly. Oh, the door, too goddamn many. I yeah, and there's all different color variants. Yeah. But this is Kinikuman Soldier. Number seven. Yes, number seven, as we discovered. So apparently this guy actually refers to two separate characters. He is either the original Kinukuman soldier, or was it Soldier Man? Soldier or Man. he is secretly Ataru Kiriku, the, the, the guy, guy who killed the original one. And who's the brother of Kiriku Man. If it isn't confusing because everyone's got the same goddamn name. Even though, yes, I They're know it's their... They're from Kaneku. I know. But really, come on, people. Give each other unique names for differentiation purposes. Anyhow... This um, is the back of the box. Uh, can I show those? Uh, there's okay, uh, one of these is phasing move. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's that one because it's more of a phasing move. But they do actually show like they do the moves in the back of the box. Yeah, and they can actually do it. So they got yeah. the articulation. I think it comes with a folding chair. <gasps> what? Yeah, I'm actually surprised. That's really accessory for a win. Yeah, so, I think he's really the kind of the first one apart from like character specific accessories to kind of get yeah, something a little outside much. of the box. It could be because he may sit on a chair a lot. He probably could be using that chair a lot. So. So yeah, so like, jump, have jump cut, get in, him out of the packaging. Let's get him out there, shall we? Well, he looks indifferent, so he's here not he, very impressed, is he? He don't. He something's not impressing him much. <laughs> You're oh, probably crossing oh, that oh. twin, weren't you? Shh. <laughs> that don't impress me much. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't know, but we sure are impressed by this figure's articulation. He can bounce. The typical band that he's got great articulation. Like, look. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to do that, but his legs can way more articulation. Longer. I'm taller. Yeah. But he then he's got like chicken legs, and then you kick him in there, and it's like, and his leg breaks, and he's like, he's articulation. Like, he can't really tip his head back, and he's got the a little fin thing. He's got the collar in the and, way. Like, the big collar, yeah. So he's got the dull ball joint, you know, head and neck. Mm hmm. He's got the ball joint shoulder, and also shoulders. the shoulders. And the cup that comes yeah. out, but doesn't look freaky. Well, you got the double joint elbow. Double joint elbow with a twist. What? Twirl. Twist. With a twist. You got the ball jointed. The ball jointed. It's more of a, a hivel. A hivel. Okay, gotcha. He's got hivel wrists. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you know, ball joint ab and uh, <laughs> under ooh, chest. Ooh, ooh. Wow. And you got your ball jointed. Yeah. Kind of double joint hip. Yeah, because you can also do that yeah. pulling up thing. Double joint knee. Ooh. No twist. Mm, nothing on the cap. You get the typical Bandai ankle rocker cut and right. twist and swivel. Okay, so you can pretty much get in any pose. on same thing with all the whole figures in the line, yeah. too. So again, you know, you kind of get the idea that they wanted to do some reuse with this, but there isn't a lot of reuse, honestly. Like, no, it's mean, still pretty unique they here. got different... I think the only real reason is the arms. Yeah, but anything. The, the upper arms, the upper say. Up. I mean... That's on the a, head. Yeah. But even though it's a different sculpt. Well, yeah, even then, yeah, I don't even think they can because if you look at the details on the alternate heads, so I'll try to get a close but up. The, take out the head, just grab the head and pop. Just rip it off. More and you can also side. take this piece off. Oh, okay. So let's see if we can get a close up of the alternate heads. These, these things are really hard to hold. Though. Yeah, they're right point. This is um, the eye rolling pose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of fun. You can get, you can get him a lot of personality with this. Not really sure what persona. I would presume this persona would follow more of the um, the uh, Ataru Kikumu. Kiniku look. This one's a bit more of surprise. He's like dull surprise. <gasps> You're my brother. Or <gasps> fingers aren't supposed to go in there. <gasps> Do it again. Um, so. Here he's got the bow dummies uh, oh, collar on. Someone tore up his lapels. That monster. It looks like it's held in by not like not really deep pegs yeah, though. No, yeah. just very small clips. Very small clips. Oh, it's actually pretty cool. Okay. So but it gets a nice fit. Another clean one on. We've also got our favorite um, groping hands. We've got gropers. And so for the hands, it's a simple ball joint. Mm -hmm. Groping hands. Yeah, and popping you one on. And befitting a soldier, he's got a salute hand, which can also double, which all can some double as a nice slap. If you're aiming yep. for like a Stockton slap thing, you know, that Nick Diaz does or something. Like that. There you go. Exactly. You can pimp slap people. But the chair itself is actually pretty detailed. Yeah. Um, He's got a nice, a nice leather effect. Probably the best chair for a wrestling toy ever. Um, a lot of them kind of, kind of 
usually saw the cast of one plastic, so this one actually gets paint on it, so it's yep. like, whoa. Um, is it's it, have a head on Is it scaled to fit Mattel things? I don't think it is. I think uh, it's... I let's think go it's, Mattel. Well, they're about six to seven inch scale, depending on who who's involved. I, I just think it's too small. I don't know. I probably fit the uh, six inch scale. Yeah, get probably the elite figures. one. You know, the one with the ball jointed hips probably would get a better fit. But you know what? Wrestlers aren't going to use a chair to sit on. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> They're going to be using it to cave in the skulls of their mortal enemies or their cave in. See, what's the best way for him to hold? What the is chair? best in life? Put a dent in this chair's face. No, but it, no, you, you get where I'm going at. Yeah, awkward to make him hold because his hands aren't exactly <gasps> built for it. Wait, wait. A Japanese figure who has an accessory, they haven't been fully designed to hold I think it's actually mostly meant, like it's meant to sit in it. <gasps> okay, there you go. Well, you can, with the hands, the groper hands do have a bit yeah, of articulation there. They do. So. They got a, a hinge at the fingers. So you can kind of narrow it down. So it is yeah. possible to get them to actually push it. You gotta spend a bit of time with them. Yeah. Is it, you know, is it the best solution for someone who, you know, for an articulated figure? Probably not, but you know, it's the best they can make do, right? And like you say, I think, honestly, I think he's gonna be sitting more on it than, you know, you know, just smack someone's head. Or you can lay it on the ground and have someone try to, you know, pedigree them into it. You know, so many possibilities. Exactly. I know. Cheers, guys. See, I did it that way. Cheers, I just apathetic. That's actually kind of nice. He's got a little... Kind of splitter thing going on the face, and he's got the patch on the corner of the eye. Yep. Ow, and his fin is very goddamn sharp, so... See, so you can hold it. Yeah, you can. There you go. I could probably make him hold it better than that if I spend more time playing it, but then it's like, it's a half-hour video! Yeah, exactly. We don't have that time in the world. But so, I will mostly have him sitting in the chair, holding his arms, like, in the side of the box, and, like, that mm -hmm. pose. A little bit of sass. Sitting in the middle of the ring I've got set up. There we go. But so yeah, he needs a little figure. Yeah, so definitely it'll be a little mystery on the character, and yeah, he is not simply a reskinned Kirikumen. He's nope. got a whole, well, it's basically his brother, so I guess you can call it a reskin. But yes, definitely a welcome addition to the Kirikumen family. Yep, I'm um, yes. definitely, definitely the ring we've got going on. I've got one more corner to get. All right. And after that, then it's going to be, the ring's going to be full of all these different risks. We've got a bunch more coming out. Nice. Well, thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Kiniku Man stuff down the road. Yeah, we'll see you again later. Have a good one.